Everybody remember, it's your responsibility to expect this to be a great day. Today we're going to talk about the intersection of four powerful ideas. Patterns, programming, perception, and possibilities. We're going to review patterns, programming, perception, and possibilities. Or four P's, if you will. And we're going to do it, though, in a way that's quite simple. Name that tune. Name that tune is a game we all are familiar with where people can hum a few bars of a song and we try to guess that song in the shortest number of um, notes. And some of us are so good that we can hear the first couple of notes hum off key by one of our friends and we still recognize that song. But the only reason we can recognize that song is because we recognize the patterns of the notes. We only recognize the patterns of the notes because those patterns have been programmed into our memory through repetition, hearing it over and over and over again at some point in our life. And because we've had that programming, our perception is key, is tuned to pick that up quickly. And because our perception is tuned to pick that up quickly, our possibilities are limited because of that. So when we hear those first three notes of a song, we think of that song, that one song, not the dozens and dozens and dozens of other possible songs that probably have that same pattern in them. So folks, lots of this is a great chain reaction of what we experience every day in our lives. Quite often, when we see an event or when we something happens, we take a look at it, we match it to a pattern that we have, and that pattern that we have limits what that event or thing can mean based upon programming that we've gone through and quite often we might pick the wrong song or we pick a song of the many songs that it might be but sometimes we pick the reality that may not serve us best so my point is this how often in your life when you see something or you notice something when something happens realize that when every time something happens when the phone rings when you get a letter in the mail when somebody says, man, I have something to tell you, what your expectation is, what you expect it to be is great insight into your, your, your programming and your patterns and all these things that you have inside of you. You know, when things happen that you didn't plan for and expect or that you didn't plan for or create, do you expect them to be good or do you expect them to be not so good? You know, these are, this is a good um, analogy for you to use as a framework just to look at your circumstances. Just look at your circumstances. Look at the challenges before you and ask yourself a simple question. The thing that I'm calling a challenge, that song, the label that I'm giving what I see, is that truly what it is or is that only what it can be? Or is it just the byproduct of my patterns and my programming and my perception being oriented to a certain way so that I view this circumstances, this circumstance a certain way that I label challenge? I guarantee you, you look around your life and your circumstances, there are people that are looking at the exact same thing that you face but they are driven by different patterns and different programming and what they see is completely different than what you see. You may in fact sing a sad song while they in fact might be dancing their butt off. <laughs> so be aware of your personal patterns, be aware of the programming you have in your life, things you do over and over and over and over again and remember that any repetition results in some type of programming and be aware that patterns and programming will affect your perception and be aware that your perception has a relationship to what you view as your possibilities. You put these things in the right order, 
you will find that you will dance to a pretty cool tune. <laughs> Expect a great day.